Welcome to another episode here at uh, the channel. I am a little bit shaky today because I'm using a phone here, but hopefully uh, that is uh, not a problem. But I really want to show you guys a product that I've been purchasing uh, and got in the mail yesterday. So now it is uh, uh, Saturday. I have a little bit better time to, to watch uh, what I'm having here. For a good while, I've been interested in a SWR meter that I can use uh, to just calibrate my antenna uh, to make sure that it is uh, safe for the radio to use. And I were looking on various types of brands, particularly Rig Expert, because they have really good quality stuff, I think. And I couldn't find one that was uh, in my price range. So I were looking on different type of solution. Um, it came up with the Nano VNA, uh, which is a company that is making network analyzers uh, that is also a open source uh, area. More on that a little bit later. But I, I uh, came up with a analyzer for me that hopefully is going to work, and that is the Nano VNA H4, which is a handheld vector network Analyze and I love the uh, type font that they have here. It's a uh, yeah, that was beautiful, I think. So I have uh, have opened it uh, today and to take a little bit look on what I have here. And I, I, I honestly, I'm a little bit impressed here. So I have a regular uh, USB C cable that you connect to your computer or a small charger with one amp maximum. Not two, but one. And uh, and uh, there is uh, another USB-C cable, but it is a USB to USB-C, uh, which is uh, a little bit cool because you can connect the Nano VNA to your phone and just remote, remote it basically to extract all of the data. Uh, I, I find it pretty, pretty cool. So, uh, what other things is it? Well, we have two cable with SMA uh, plugs, uh, which is important. Uh, we'll come back on it later on that. So, uh, other stuff. And then you have um, calibration plugs that I call it. I have to look thoroughly on a video uh, how you calibrate this device because uh, I, I have tried calibrating it earlier this morning and I were successfully able to do it uh, but I haven't been in the car to test my antenna yet and uh, that will be another video on, on how I uh, do that but let's take a look on this device itself so this has a turning knob I'm not quite sure what you use it for but it does have a you can turn it around and then it has a, like a uh, suicide switch. You just like push the talk uh, kind of button-ish. Then you have a, a micro SD slot for something and not quite sure. Then you have a on and off switch. And on the bottom of this device, uh, you have a USB-C connector with a small pinhole. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I, I would imagine it would be a kind of like a a reset uh, switch or something like that. Not quite sure. Then uh, you have two SMA ports. You have uh, port one and then you have port two. And on here, that's as far as I understand, you for the most part use port one and then you connect a... Um, a, a cable to it and you're you're not supposed to get to tensioning like ridiculously hard to have it in place like forever it's you you barely fasten it and when it comes to this cold plug that i mentioned you have your cable attached to this uh which is an sma to sma i guess uh, onto here 
and then you having your different calibration plug so this is a open one because it doesn't have the pin uh, as I see it and then you have a a short uh, one because it does has the pin it will shorten uh, the plus minus and then you have a load to place load on the uh, on the device um, the the next basically uh, I can I can turn on the device I'm sorry for making noise here I can turn on the device here and this is basically the interface and then you're using this to click around probably not use your fingers or any other sharp object that's probably very important and then you just click it and what you do is to go to calibrate and then you click calibrate I'm not an expert at this, I've just been looking on another YouTube video. And you hit calibrate again, and then you, you place the uh, open circuit because it tells you what you need to do. Uh, you click open after you placed this on, so that's the open one, and then you after it's done that, you will have a check mark on top, like a V thingy, and then it tells you to go to the next. So the next one is short. So you take off the open one and place it there, and then you take the short and you place it here, and then you click short test basically, and you do that until you're done with load. As I understand, you don't do isolation or through. Some people, I haven't read it thoroughly enough to do any of these recommendation yet so don't trust me but a through that might be be a cable from here to here I don't know how that is uh, accurate I have to look on the documentation a little bit more and when it is done you you hit done or you can use as far as I can look on this text you click done in RAM so it will store the calibration in the temporary memory of the device so it will be stored until you switch it off and you turn it on again then it the calibration will be erased basically and when it's done you can save it uh, if I click back here with this Thing. people are using these actually to play guitars too so let me click back and I have already made a calibration uh, for two meters and then I can just click on that and it will it will grab the calibration for me and then I can just uh, click uh, apply and it will it will have all of the settings for me done and then you you kind of have to after but may, before you calibrate this device, you should go to stimulus and you define your working area, which is the start frequency. In my, my case, that is 145, uh, sorry, uh, 145 megahertz. So that's the start frequency. And then you adding the stop frequency, which is... 146 megahertz and then you uh you click another button i don't know uh how you do that uh but again i have to do a lot more reading for this uh device because it's it's a little over hundred dollars so it is something that's taking a huge of uh, somewhat huge of my budget but if I'm careful uh, with this, I can probably have this one uh, for years uh, until I have something else. So for now, I'm actually quite impressed uh, what this can do. And the beauty about this one, it is an open source project, but it is also a little bit cursed actually, because there is copycats out there that imitates the original one that doesn't work it's, it's just fake products you have to be careful on the hardware side and also the software side because it is an open source product so anyone can make any software 
that you can uh, store uh, on uh, this one. Uh, but that's a good thing too, because you could probably add different function to it. And I heard some rumors on YouTube that you can, you can actually use this one to measure the feeding cable to the antenna. So that might be a, a different uh, project. But I think uh, for now, it's, uh, this is uh, it's enough with the video. I hope you like it, because I do. And uh, if you like it, just uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, just a uh, thumbs down. It's totally up to you. But also subscribe to my channel, because you will get more content in the future. And with that, uh, Lima Bravo 6 uh, Quebec Juliet is signing off. Hope you liked the episode. This frequency is available. Bye-bye.